Hello, welcome back. Today we're gonna test the grate, which was historically, they say, an improvement on the inbird gasifier, where the reduction bell is going diverging. And this one was a great way to uh, for longevity and cheapness, because this is an insert and you can pop it right in. Like with this one. This is inserted in the gasifier, and you can pop this one in, and it will hang in there on the groove and stuff, and the stuff is perfectly free to move and everything. So we're going to test it out. This was the other one I made, a restriction from the six, uh, four to six centimeters above this is the first air belt. And in this mode, it runs like a normal invert, the stratified gasifier, because I plug the second stage now for other experiments. So this is totally, completely uh, invert kind of experiment. So let's see what it does and the temperatures and everything. And we're running gasifier now. It's just started up on the ignition plug. You can drift it in there, plug it in, put the fan on, put it on and off, and then pull it out again, otherwise it will melt in time. First up, it's pretty much tar yet, because it only runs for maybe one and a half minutes now, two minutes. It should clear up in about five, and then uh, we will see. Well, now it's only the ignition port, so there's a lot of raw fuel being uh, Heat it up now, and in a well, I will switch to to the, to the other one, the Inbert style. No. Be right back. Here we go. We're running the fan now on the input of the heat exchanger, and it goes into the lower nozzles like the Inbert. I can also switch it to the recirculation burner that will that's also something I'm gonna test. But not now. The gases look a little diluted now, that's what it does. It turns orangey and the flames get smaller. But that's okay, it will uh, get up there at some moment. Maybe I use this burner again so it not so it's that it doesn't spread all over the place the smoke. But be right back. Oh, it just ignited almost immediately again. And the flame is already quite a bit less bad. There's still a lot of orange. At least in the camera, in real, uh, inside it's only like 20% yellow now. So it's pretty clean, but it can be more because we don't want anything like that. So we just wait another minute or two and see how it's, uh, Heating itself up. Well, five minutes later, it doesn't improve a bit. It's still uh, medium tar gas, let's say. So how about we open the recirculation burner so we can switch over to, to that. You know, what the, what the hell, just shut the invert off and see how the gas improves. Well, first a little more Star appeared. So, stuff is falling down now. Quite a bit. That's because uh, the burner ends just under the ignition nozzle, I believe, around here. So there's this much of unparalyzed, not so well paralyzed gases yet. And then the grate is about here. It's above the second ignition port, unfortunately, because I want to put the temperature in, temperature sensor, but it doesn't fit. It gets stuck. So let this roll for a while and see what it does. <laughs> One minute in, and uh, it's already looking really good. 
flame is higher than most of the time, or less, uh, at the least less time, because there's no obstructions anymore from the ash. So the invert style. Let's see if we can switch back to it. Yeah, now it still goes on because there's charcoal in there now because of the venturi burner. <laughs> no, this is on the venturi burner now again. Only. It adjusts itself really, really quickly. And you can see some low tires now. Again, because it probably holds down again and it needs to adjust itself. But it adjusts itself very quickly. And it's way better than the only the the invert style nozzle ring. With this thing, it's still necessary to tap it one once in a while. Every five minutes is ideal. I, I I saw maybe three minutes even, but anything longer than ten minutes with this recirculation combustor in this small diameter of pipe. Too small. The fuel is only 25 millimeters thick around it, so I have to sift out quite a lot of chips. I only have bigger chips now, and only 20% of that is small chips. So I need to go to a bigger gasifier to burn this fuel. And I sift it out now with this crate. It's uh, 10 millimeters, around 12 maybe. And here's this mosquito sheet. So I can separate the dust and the uh, fines from the wood. I mean the dust from the charcoal so I can replace it whenever I test out a new grate. And this, this stuff is just beautiful now. This recirculation burner really works really nice. Let's tap it again and let's make fuel fall in there and see if it's increasing it should increase a bit because you know that's how it works yeah there is a little increasement just a small one percent yellowish now let's see what it yeah there's quite a bit of fog in there again let's see what it does with the filter now it's basically invisible if it were not for the you know, the vapors. So, let's install this one. Go to the bottom of it. And this is going to the... Let me adjust it. Okay, at this flow... Uh, three and a half centimeters for pressure loss. And if you hold this approximately on... 60 degrees about and it, 2 centimeters is about 10 cubic meters an hour which is perfect now which is exactly the six, 36 volt stuff huh? and again this gas is perfect this recirculation burner really works really good Let's see the oh there's a little bit of fog in there still now but hey, it's 95% uh, less than it was. Thank you for watching. See you next time.